early morning near San Antonio, Texas, and a great daily migration is underway. From the crack of dawn, 20 million of these bats have been arriving back at their cave after a night of feasting on insects. They've been universally feared, often reviled. Perhaps it's a case of bad PR because they actually perform an essential role. And bats love these insects. John Westbrook is with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The bat uh, provides that service, a natural service, which complements uh, any of the pest management efforts that farmers introduce, like using insecticides or transgenic plants. So whatever the bats consume, the farmers don't have to deal with. But in parts of the northeast of the U.S. and quickly spreading south and west, bat populations have been in decline because of what's called white nose syndrome. That's a fungus that irritates their noses and wings, creating havoc with hibernation patterns in winter, causing them to starve to death. And with that, the natural pesticide service we rely on might not be available for much longer. Where did the fungus come from? There's some speculation that it was brought to the United States uh, from someone who was caving, uh, cave exploring in Europe. We're almost certain that the main vector, the main way it's spreading is from bat to bat. Uh, because we do see that the path of the spread follows some common migratory paths of bats. But so far, the white nose syndrome hasn't affected bats in Texas. And until it does, keen bat watchers will cruise along this river, watching hundreds of thousands of them speed off for their evening insect buffet, enjoying their moment in the spotlight. Or is it the dark night? Imran Garda, Al Jazeera, Texas.